You may have noticed an unusual crowd today on Figueroa. Mostly smiles and laughter, sometimes just big bug eyes of surprise. Uh, but everybody's had great fun with us today. Just your typical reaction when an octopus, a reusable bag, and a plastic bag monster roam the streets and take the metro, teaming up for a cause. The plastic bag we use for maybe 12 minutes is the average use, um, but it's on the planet forever. When the state uh, made a, an effort to recycle them, we only ever got the recycling rate up to 5%. So the fact is people didn't recycle them, they don't reuse them. People had thousands of them sort of stashed under their room. And some of that stash ended up here on her costume. Underneath those 400 bags is Meredith McCarthy, the program director at Heal the Bay. She and fellow volunteers distributed hundreds of reusable bags as part of Reusable Bag Day. All right, come get your free reusable bag. Their goal? To promote Proposition 67. This is 400 bags. This is the number of bags that a California uses every year. Um, and so we use it as an education piece to talk to people about, um, sort of remind them about what, what is the collective uh, look like of all of you know their sort of single-use consumption. If Proposition 67 were to pass this November, the measure would ban pharmacies and grocery stores statewide from the use of traditional plastic bags. The measure would also enforce a 10% charge on paper bags sold in stores. And so we need to move past single-use any kind of material. Um, so this idea of, of using a bag over and over and over again, a, a good solid reusable bag is, is the way to go. But the American Progressive Bag Alliance says plastic bags actually generate 80% less waste than paper bags. They also argue that charging for paper and reusable bags is a scam. In a statement released by the executive director, Lee Califf, he said the legislation was never about the environment. Our research shows that the vast majority of voters are opposed to the legislation that bans plastic bags and allows grocers to charge and keep fees on other bags. While many local governments already have similar bans in place, it will be up to California voters to decide whether banning plastic bags for good or bagging the ban itself is better for the state. For Annenberg Media, I'm Kristen Lago.